Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cobos Curse Program. My name is Chris, and this is Scrubber Designs episode 28. Woof! Another one. Another successful intro. Okay. <laughs> so, the very first design we're going to be showing today is the Nuclear Comet Mark 1, and this is made by Rolf Copter KK Lol. Uh, he always submits some fantastic designs, and this is just one of them. It looks, this craft looks really good. Uh, if you take a look, we have these engine pre coolers. They add a nice texture to the entire plane. And although I don't think they do much, like I was reading online in the forums and people were saying, oh, they're pretty much useless. Uh, please tell me if they are actually useless, like whether they make a difference. I don't think you need like as many as there are, but again, it just makes everything look so good. Anyway, so take a look at the action groups. We'll see a uh, custom one, all right? So number one, your keyboard, Rappy Engines. Number two, Rappy Engine Switch Mode. Number three, uh, jet engines, well, I don't, I'm not used to the name yet, <laughs> and also the atomic rocket motors. And I think number five is the solar arrays, because there's solar arrays for no real reason, but anyway, it just looks cool. And I think that's about it. There's nothing else. So, let us launch. I had to get that out of the way with the action groups, because when I first tested this craft, I didn't look at the action groups. And I had to like figure everything out while I was while I was flying. So I was pressing random buttons. I was like, okay, yeah, that's action. So that's for the jet engine. It's like, oh yeah, I press that button. <laughs> just just experience. So full throttle. So one and three, and that should do. Eventually, we do number four for the atomic rocket motors, and eventually number two to change the modes of the engines. So keeping that in mind, let's go. And uh, this is going to take some time. This is a plane that can orbit Kevin, right? And we'll be able to return as well. Uh, we don't have too much time today. I have uh, three assignments due this week, so <laughs> I'm kind of busy. Yes. But anyway, I'm playing games even though I'm, I've got that on my head. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Every time we have some sort of like uh, a assignment that's coming up, you should see me in, in my class. I was... Uh, it's so funny, I'm so laid back. Well, once we're doing this uh, programming, in computer stuff, and everyone else was like doing their assignment, and I was in class, and like the teacher we had was, wasn't any good teacher. This guy just reads from the slides, he doesn't do anything else, right? So I could read from the slides myself. So the guy's basically useless. But this is a long time ago, and there I was just, you know, sitting down, relaxing, and everyone else was like stressing out over the assignment. And you know, I, I'd look, I look through my pocket. Oh, what do you know? There's a chocolate bar and I just started eating chocolate. <laughs> While everyone else was like, wow, this guy is just relaxing. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Hmm. So wait, these guys, you gotta be laid back. <laughs> That's the trick. Uh, anyway, enough of that. We've got work to do. And we are almost there. We're going to orbit Kerbin very soon. Come on. We have enough fuel. Let's see. Please get us into orbit. La 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 la. I want to be precise. Please go. And right about now. Yes, okay. We have done it! Whee! <laughs> we are orbiting Kevin. I imagine this can land as well as somewhere. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that noise with the shaking. I've got to fix my table. Give me a second. Yep, yep. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, that's excellent. I'm very happy. Amazing craft. Beautiful, as they say. Like lasagna. <laughs> Damn those KSP guards. They bestowed a crash upon me. <laughs> Don't do that again. Uh, okay. Damn, damn guys. I paused the game for a second because I got 
things to do and people to see and there we go crash all right anyway aside from the nuclear comet great plane works the way intended the very next design is crow it's a simple design it is simple uh, but i'm gonna show it anyway uh, because this is made by goodle <laughs> the name of the person is Goodle. What's well, his nickname, really? <laughs> a very interesting name, I must say. Maybe not original, but <laughs> it's still Goodle. Uh, very interesting. Uh, this plane is well. It's simple. <laughs> it's just you know, it just it just flies quick. That's all. <laughs> Move it around. It uh will get off the runway by itself. And three, two. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> by itself. It's so good. Fly, I tell you. Well, the shaking is trippy. Whoa. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we should change the camera angle, eh? Whoa. Okay, like that. Wait, with that? No. Locked? Would lock do? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> with the new, like, shaking effects in-game, it's, it's even more scary. Let's take away these away. It, 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 oh, uh, oh, okay, we're good. Whoa, okay, whoa, close call, close call. Heretic, that's terrible flying. I know, I know, I try. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't really care. All right, all right. I'm looking on one side more than the other. Yeah, yeah. We we need a course. We need a flying course. Someone like put hoops everywhere. I, mean, I had the idea ages ago. No one did it. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> yes, make a flying course. That'd be cool. It's going in circles now. Are we gonna hit the building? Mm, no, we're good. We are good. Well, this is this is gonna get me. I'm I'm feeling dizzy actually. <laughs> uh, better stop. Wait, it actually looks cool from here. Let's go back to locked. Well, well, okay. This is <laughs> this is playing tricks on my mind. Let's see what a crash looks like. Fourth battle. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it actually destroyed it. Well done. Best craft ever. 10, 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, success. <laughs> anyway. Well, that wasn't good fun. The next design is known as uh, Red Tube. There we go. And let's launch that. We'll load it, really. And this is a craft from what I read... Okay, this is made by a random guy, and he says that the craft should be flown at night. I don't know why, but we'll do that. Let's make it night. Uh, wait, I've forgotten. Okay, <laughs> I forgot how to do it night. I forgot to make it night. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Make it night. My time, night time is not a good time for recording, really. It, it, hmm. I, I watch videos online with KSP, and sometimes I just see people recording at night. I'm thinking, yeah, you know, I can't really see much. Better make it day. Uh, anyway, typical mistake. I did it once before too, I think. Maybe. Anyway, let us launch. From what I read in the instructions, we have to get to about 20,000 meters in altitude and then turn off the engines, stay still, turn on SR. Oh, S. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So we have RCS. Okay, okay, I get it now. You see, before I was testing this, I I got up in the atmosphere at about fifteen thousand meters, and all of a sudden the craft was pitching down. I was, you know, I was thinking to myself, okay, this isn't going to work. But I completely forgot about the RCS. Anyway, the the shaking is still fooling my mind. I think something's going to break. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to keep this at forty degrees. Let's go. All right, let's try not to pitch it down. I know it's dark and I, I can barely see myself. Actually, let me turn off my lights. Okay, I can see better now. <laughs> I can see better. We need night vision in KC, guys. In case P. I, why did I say KC? Yeah, whatever. I've been doing that lately. <laughs> oh yeah, next video on the channel will probably be career mode, episode two. I've already recorded that and it was good, I think. <laughs> Didn't get too much done, but I try, I try. I mean, I got like three assignments due this week, so yeah, you gotta bear with me, all right? 
But don't worry, I'll be eating chocolates and stuff. Because I like to relax while doing assignments. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Okay, that's a bad sign. Uh, okay, uh, we kind of flamed out just a second ago, but that's the basic jet engines that did that. We appear to be still moving. I don't think this will be able to get to 20,000 meters. I really doubt it. Let's pitch up. Uh, but I don't think we'll be able to achieve that. I'll hold down S. Oh, we're going up now rapidly, but we are rapidly decelerating as well. So <laughs> let's see if we can do this. I don't really see the point of getting to 20,000 meters, but I really don't. Hmm. This is some sort of magical thing. Oh. Okay, yeah, okay. Hmm. That's as far as we're gonna go. We can time up a little. Let's do that. Yeah, okay. The highest aptitude here is 16,000 meters. Anyway, regardless, uh, we're meant to turn on the lights now. Let's see. When it's stable, press U and turn on the lights. Okay, the craft is stable-ish. <laughs> Ish. Let's just turn off the engines. And... Alright, let's press... Okay, now, now it's stable. That's going straight down. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Wait. Alright, now. Uh, you. Ah! Wow, that's, that's so very bright. At no time. So this is... This craft is called Red Tube for some reason. Hmm... Let's take a look. Apparently we meant to look inside. Alright, let's do that. What is this? What is this? Huh? Why? Why you put so many lights? You got lights everywhere. <laughs> lights everywhere, am I? That's too many. But I still don't get it. I still don't get the point with so many lights. What is this? Someone explain this craft to me. It's it's getting to me. Alright, look from the front end. Wow. So damn confused. Someone translate this for me. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, hey, I look inside when it's stable. I'm gonna launch. Full throttle actually. Eh, I see stuff shaking. What is that? Fuselage. Why well, it's just a texture. Man, this is messing me up. I've never seen anything like this. Hey look! A hole, fantastic. I don't know what the point is. What are these? Generators, yeah? Why'd you put so many generators? <laughs> well, you do need all those lights. Okay, I get it, I get it. I get it. I don't get it. Anyway, I think that will do for this craft. We're just gonna blow it up. We're gonna smash it because, you know, we do things like that. You know. <laughs> all right, there we go. Click K speed, don't crash. Eject, eject. Ah, oh, she didn't live. Valentina, you died. Happy Valentine's Day, okay? <laughs> anyway, I think that will do for this episode. I'm very confused by the last craft. Someone explain it to me. Please do. That will do for this video. I'd like to thank the awesome subscribers. They are Gudu. Hilarious name. Fantastic. Number one so far. Rolfcopter KK Lol and a random guy. So thank you guys. I'll make sure to link. Uh, Rolf Copter KK Lol's uh, forum page with his craft because he did submit the craft on the KSB forums and I'd also link Goodle's YouTube channel. Alright, well that we do. Thank you for watching and bye bye.